most important, I think, is integrity. Uh, people must understand that uh, once you are in this responsibility, uh, you are going to be um, having lots of pressure applied on you by various uh, political forces. And uh, you've got to make sure that you do not compromise the system. Uh, you've got to act uh, with integrity at all times. And um, the second one is really professionalism. Uh, you've got to make sure that everything that you do uh, is this up to the high standards. Uh, you uh, should not uh, compromise on a way of doing things in such a manner that people can start doubting the capacity and the competence uh, of the Commission because you are the head of the organization and therefore uh, what you do reflects uh, basically the mood of the organization. And I think another uh, element is that a person must also be able to communicate and communicate well uh, because it's a work that uh, requires communication. You've got to interact with uh, quite a number of players. You're not only dealing with the political parties, but you're dealing with the communities, you're dealing with uh, community-based organizations, uh, civic um, uh, organizations, and then all this requires time, requires person who can be able to communicate and have a conversation uh, uh, with you. So you require a person with the capacity to be able to communicate, uh, but also uh, not only in terms of the stakeholders, but also with the electorate uh, as a whole. Uh, another element that I think um, is important is that a person must really be able to understand the legal environment within which the Commission is operating. Uh, there are so many statutes that you've got to comply with, and therefore if you uh, are not familiar uh, with that environment, it becomes very, very difficult for you uh, to be able to exercise your responsibility and role. So a person who is in this position uh, must uh, be able to uh, interpret the law you don't necessarily have to be a lawyer, uh, but you've got to be able to interpret law, you've got to be able to understand uh, the statutes, and then you, you, you must also have analytical mind uh, to be able to analyze the situation and also be able to see what kind of mechanism can be put in place in order to be able to advance the interest of the organization. Uh, I am in the process of establishing my own uh, outfit, uh, which is going to be uh, assisting with uh, uh, election management services, uh, not only in the continent but throughout the world. Um, I've registered that uh, outfit, I call it the uh, Institute of Election Management Services in Africa, um, I, and I've attempted to get a few people uh, from across the continent who have actually been part of the elections uh, to be part of this. Uh, the former chairperson of the Electoral Commission of Burundi, and I also have got another person from who was part of the Electoral Commission of uh, um, uh, Seychelles, the former chairperson of Seychelles, and uh, uh, as well as a person from the chief, former chief executive uh, of the uh, Electoral Commission of Zambia, and um, another commissioner from uh, Mozambique. So I'm trying to get all these people. In terms of our own people here, uh, I've got um, uh, the former provincial electoral officer of um, uh, Eastern Cape, Tamim Khaji, as well as uh, the former PO of Northern Cape, uh, and then also came to Houting after I left, uh, Guguma Kaupani, uh, as part of this. So uh, I'm a little bit anxious but excited about uh, possibilities of what IMSA is likely to do and achieve. And I think there's a lot of potential, there's a need out there for uh, electoral commissioners to be assisted uh, in quite a number of areas. And then we'll be trying to uh, see if we can actually be able to make a contribution uh, throughout the continent.